Cyclops! Whoa! <laughs> That's gonna be like just a little loud. We're Climax Studios <clears throat> 515. But we don't like the 515, so we just call ourselves Climax Studios. And I'm Alex. And I'm Dan. Apparently, people have trouble deciphering us at the start. Uh, what? Like, because uh, our voices are kind of similar because we're both white, I guess. Because white people all sound alike? Yep, and look alike. <clears throat> and cool. so, uh, yeah, today, well, I guess I should fill you in about us first. Uh, we're not gay, we're not brothers, we're not roommates, we're just friends, alright? Like, I don't know why people think we're people brothers. People thought we were roommates? Yeah, people thought we were roommates in college, and then, uh, oh, I don't, I don't, I've never seen that one before. No, uh, yeah. but, yeah, everyone seems to think we're brothers or gay. Hopefully you we're don't both. think we're gay, just because, like, who doesn't enjoy a good PB touch from time to time? Like, especially Dan, because he's got the biggest fucking foreskin I've ever seen in my life. I'm circumcised, like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, to everyone who just watched this video, he's circumcised. Yeah. Uh, so today we're going to tell you a little story because we like to tell stories on our channel and we like to make inappropriate jokes and call black people inappropriate names that I'm not going to call on this channel. <laughs> and Chinese people yeah. and Mexicans and white people. And so, uh, well, as long as you include white people. In there, yeah. yeah. And so uh, today we're going to tell you about the first time Dan got drunk. Like, Fuck. like really drunk. Like, not drank, but drunk. Like drunk, not drank, but drunk. Are you uh, listening uh. to yourself? And so, uh, that's not even a thing. You can't basically, be drank. Basically, you can drink. You can have you can drank. drank you can drunk. No, you can't be drank. I think they get what I was saying. Anyways, okay. So basically, Dan, like, basically, this is Alex's fault, FYI. Uh, yeah, it's a hundred percent. It was a coordinated effort on uh, for the group, though. But okay, so you basically, you were still the one who thought of the whole thing. Is like, our, hey, let's go. Cool. Our buddy Ryan was like, "Okay, let's have let's have a guys' night where we're all naked and slap each other's dicks together." And so, like, we're like, "Okay, yeah, we'll come over." So we come over in for good dick slapping, right? And he's like, "Oh, I was just kidding about the dick slapping part. We're just gonna play some sociables and have some guy bonding time and get drunk, right?" And so. I'm, me and uh, Ryan were like, hey, we've never seen Dan, like, really, really drunk. Like, like absolutely fucking zombified. Fuck and cool. our goal at the end of the night was to make sure he was sitting and staring into a corner and just dead-eyed dead and just had no idea what was going on. So uh, we're playing Sociables, and for any of you who don't know what Sociables is, it, it's a card game, and each card represents a certain, like, task or drinking game, something like that. So for an example, uh, Ace. An ace, sociable. Sociables is everyone drinks. Uh, a king is, depending on who you play with, but it's usually king cup, whereas the first three people who get the king have to pour their drink into the cup, and the fourth person has to drink pour theirs in whatever the drink concoction it. of that piece of shit is. We actually have a buddy who had one of the most violent pukes off his deck I've ever seen in my life after drinking that. Yeah. And like, I think I had rum and coke, and then some gin Rum and coke, and vodka, beer. coke, gin, beer, and then whatever you add. I think it's more vodka. Uh, yeah, disgusting. It was gross. <laughs> Worst things I've ever seen in my life. But okay, so in the game, how we play it, the seven card is God. Why seven? So I, it's lucky we, number we, seven. We've done it. We, we have that planned out. Yeah, seven's always God card. And Didn't so uh, God card basically means you can make anyone do whatever the fuck you want. You are untouchable, but the until the, somebody gets the until next someone card. gets the next God card, right? So. I get the first God card, and I'm like, hey, Dan. And we've probably had, like, what, three, four drinks nah, by this more point? more than that. We were in a game in already. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so maybe, like, seven or eight. Is that fair? That's fair? Yeah, seven? somewhere around there. So we're, we're all, for being 11th graders, we're all pretty, pretty drunk. drunk, right? Like, this was last year. <clears throat> and so, uh, whatchamacallit, we're, I'm like, hey, Dan, you have to go. And it's... it's we live in Canada, so it's really cold in and the winter was, time, surprisingly. Yeah, winter, so. so I'm like, hey, Dan, go run to the top of this guy's driveway and back. And this isn't a city driveway. It's like an acre driveway, so it's a good 100 feet probably. Good gravel. Good 100 yeah, feet Yeah, you made gravel. me take off my shoes, no shoes and Oh, yeah, no that's socks. to slow you down, though. And then, so <laughs> what I did <laughs> is me, me and Ryan had this kind of like a cocktail, so whoever got the God card first would make, make him do this. And so uh, what I do is, or what I had with me, sorry, is, Back in the day when I had got my wisdom teeth pulled, <laughs> I had got Tylenol ERs. And for those of you who don't know what Tylenol ERs, it's basically like... The strongest fucking Tylenols there are. Besides Tylenol, what are those, 4s? I don't even know. T4s, yeah. They're not, as, they're not even close to as strong as T4s, but like they're the strongest non-prescription Tylenols you can get, basically. Okay. Yeah. So I fucking crushed these up nice and good. 
No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Because then why were there still, like, smaller, solid ones? I didn't have time to fucking make it a fine powder. It was just kind of like a rough crust job. And so I, like, put them in the drink, and it looks perfect. Like, you cannot see them. And so as you don't, as some of you may have known, uh, Tylenol kind of, uh, like, intensifies your drink. I think this one was six times what it usually no, is. No, it's more than that. That's is a it, normal one. Is it six? That's so it must have been 10 then. <clears throat> so like one drink is 10 drinks, right? And so obviously it gets kind of diluted with a mixed drink, but still basically really fucking drunk, all right? That's still like 10 shots in that drink pretty much. Yeah, so uh, really disgusting. So uh, so I come back in, and I, we, so we were like, whatever, let's go play the game again. So a couple round or a couple like times go over, people keep taking their cards, and I see this white stuff starting to float to the top of my drink, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I start feeling around the bottom of my drink and I pull out a Tylenol and I was like, what the fuck is this? And Alex just starts laughing his head off because he fucking drugged me. Yeah. And was, he made sure that I had to finish that drink. Yeah. It was, Motherfucker. Yeah, that was the next, I think Ryan got the god card. He made you finish it. I don't even remember. <clears throat> you know, for good Obviously. reason. Yeah, but so that's, the lesson of today's story is uh, <sighs> drug your friends because it's really fucking funny. That was not fun. And then sexually abuse them after. I don't remember that. Obviously, just saying, it was not a good time. It was actually a really fun time. I, I advise it. Yay, underage drinking extras. Okay, uh, so <laughs> yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Uh, we are Climax Studios, and we would greatly appreciate it if you come subscribe to our channel, or you just don't do anything and you continue watching Just Call It Ops videos. Totally fine. Uh, sure. Hopefully, we'll see you guys there. Peace, soup. <laughs>